The Mitsubishi you're driving today actually began its journey to your dealership a long time ago on the other side of the world and is the culmination of thousands of hours of diligent work. Mitsubishi is one of the oldest car makers in the world with a proud automotive heritage that dates back to 1917. Today Mitsubishi is one of the largest companies in Japan and to work for Mitsubishi is an honor. Most employees, whether they're top executives or assembly line workers, make a lifelong commitment to the company. Before your Mitsubishi went into production, it was first manifest on the drawing board as engineers designed it and then refined it. Next, full-size clay models were built and wind tunnel tests conducted. Eventually, prototypes were constructed and once perfected, became the sires of a new line of automobile. Mitsubishi utilizes some of the most advanced assembly techniques in the world, but does so from the vantage point of historical perspective. It is a unique blending of old world craftsmanship and state-of-the-art computer-operated machinery. Your Mitsubishi took shape as robots precisely welded the body panels together. Simultaneously, workers meticulously assembled the engine, transmission, and other components. Once complete, your vehicle was specially prepared for its long journey across the ocean. All of our vehicles are shipped in special Mitsubishi-built container ships whose sole purpose is to transport the cars we produce. It is a trip which lasts over two weeks. At Voyage's end, landfall, and your Mitsubishi is at its new home. Once it arrived in this country, your Mitsubishi was inspected at the port to ensure its quality then shipped by truck to your dealership. Upon arriving at your dealership, a skilled technician conducted a painstaking pre-delivery inspection from top to bottom, inside and out, an important element of your Mitsubishi dealer's diamond care program. This thorough inspection helps ensure that everything is properly prepared, adjusted, and fine-tuned before you ever see the car. At delivery, your salesperson should have covered the important technical and convenience features of your new Mitsubishi and should have also filled out a diamond care checklist that becomes your written record of the delivery inspection. This checklist is your salesperson's personal commitment to quality, ensuring that your new Mitsubishi looks, feels, and performs according to design criteria. And to ensure your continued satisfaction, we would like to invite you back to the dealership after you've driven 1,000 miles. This performance evaluation and review is also an opportune time for us to take care of any problems that may have developed since you took delivery of your new Mitsubishi. But that's only the beginning of our commitment to you. The technicians in your dealership's service department are fully equipped, trained, and committed to making sure that your new Mitsubishi continues to perform as it was designed. And when traveling across the country, Diamond Care is your assurance that all our Mitsubishi Motors dealers and authorized service centers will provide you with that same high level of quality service. And if a Mitsubishi dealership or authorized service center is not convenient, we've established our toll-free service assistance program. This program provides you with toll-free telephone numbers to help you obtain service assistance throughout the continental United States. Your new Mitsubishi is the newest link in our evolutionary chain which spans seven decades. It was built by men and women whose passion for excellence will forever link them to our past as their devotion to technology creates the bridge 
to our future. True sports cars, the 1987 Mitsubishi Starion stands alone. That's because this car delivers a unique blending of high performance, interior luxury, and the latest in technological advancements. All wrapped in the body that's bound to turn heads. Plus, Starion is available in two distinctive body styles. First, there's the elegant Starion LE. Then, for the more adventurous, the bold Starion ESIR. Both Starion models are driver's cars, pure and simple. Before we proceed, we'd like to make a few recommendations. First, please take some time and thoroughly review your owner's manual. We also recommend you run through this next section of the tape while parked, possibly in the comfort of your driveway. This way, you can pay full attention to this information without the distraction of traffic. And finally, every time you get into your new Starion, please make the connection and buckle up. In fact, to help you make the connection, your new 87 Starion is equipped with passive restraint shoulder belts. As you know, they automatically help you buckle up every time you take a seat. But please remember, you still need to manually fasten your lap belt. Starion is ergonomically designed for optimum comfort and control. That's why every Starion comes standard with body cradling, reclining front bucket seats featuring rich cloth upholstery. To recline the seat backs, lean forward slightly while pulling up the seat back release lever located on the side of the seat nearest the door. Then, just lean back to the desired position and release the lever. It's that easy. Starion also features adjustable head restraints. They're easily adjusted by gently pulling or pushing forward or back to whatever position you prefer. Are there any other seat adjustments? In fact, there are three additional adjustments on both the driver and passenger seats. First, the thigh support is adjustable. The control lever is located on the side of the seat cushion closest to the door. To raise the cushion, pull the lever up and the seat cushion will go up. Or push the button while lowering the lever to decrease support. On the inner side of both seats, you'll find a large knob that provides variable lumbar support. There are three different lumbar positions. In the middle of that knob is yet another knob that adjusts the side support in and out. We recommend you experiment with the seat to find the settings that are most comfortable for you. Another great feature of the Starion is the front passenger seat walk-in device. This makes it easier to enter the back seat area. Simply lift the seat back release lever. Then when the seat back angles forward, the seat itself will automatically slide up on the tracks. And it's equally easy to return the seat to its original position. Just raise up the seat back release, then slide the seat rearward. It will automatically lock into place. All Starion models come with a rear shelf panel that helps keep your valuables out of sight. When you need to carry larger items, it's easy to remove. Just lift the part of the shelf panel that's closest to the back seat and unsnap it. The rear seat also folds so you can easily carry larger items too. In fact, the rear seat back is split, so one side can be folded while the other is left up for a passenger. These seat back release levers are located on the top of the rear seats. The standard instrument panel on all Starion models features large, easy to read analog gauges. The speedometer is just to the left of center, and it includes an odometer and trip meter. To reset the trip meter, merely push the button that's located in the center of the instrument cluster. Just to the right of the speedometer, you'll find a tachometer. And on the far right-hand side of the instrument panel, there's a coolant temperature gauge. Remember, if this gauge ever enters the red zone, we recommend you pull over and stop the engine. Allow it to cool down before investigating the problem. 
The top gauge, also on the right-hand side, measures oil pressure while the engine is running at normal temperatures. Remember, this gauge does not measure oil level. That must be checked manually using the oil dipstick when the engine is turned off. But if there is low or no oil pressure, stop the engine as soon as possible and do not drive until the problem is detected and corrected. On the far left hand side, you'll find the fuel gauge. Directly above that gauge, you'll find a voltmeter, which measures the voltage of the battery. If the voltmeter registers between 12 and 16 volts, the battery is good. But if it consistently stays below 11 volts or above 16 volts, there is something wrong with either the battery or the charging system, and this should be checked. Directly in the middle of the instrument cluster is a turbo boost gauge. This measures the turbocharger boost level. What about those lights in the middle of the panel? Each light has a specific meaning. For example, the light directly in the middle on the bottom row indicates that your high beams are on. To the right one position is the brake warning light. It illuminates when the ignition is switched on and the parking brake is pulled. But what if you release the parking brake and this light is still on? Well, if it continues to stay lit, the brake fluid reservoir could be low, or there may be another problem with the braking system. Either way, this should be checked at once. And all the way to the left is the seat belt reminder light. Every time you turn on the ignition, if you have not already buckled up, it illuminates and a chime sounds to remind you to buckle up your seat belt. Directly to the right is the door ajar warning light. It stays lit when the driver or passenger side door is not closed tightly. So if this light is on, be sure to check that both doors are securely closed, right? Right. Now for the top row. The one on the left indicates that the rear hatch is ajar. To the right, on Starion ESI-R models, is the rear brake lockup control light. It illuminates for three seconds when you first switch on the ignition, then it goes out. If the light comes on while you're driving, it indicates a problem with this system. But don't be alarmed, because the lockup control system does not affect normal operation of the brake system. Simply have this feature checked at your earliest convenience. And on Starion LE models equipped with the optional automatic transmission, there's an overdrive indicator light that will illuminate while the overdrive control switch is off during driving. Finally, the last light warns when the windshield washer reservoir is low. Hey, how do you get the fuel filler door open? That's simple. On the driver's side next to the door, there are two levers. The one in back opens the fuel filler door. What about the other lever? That lets the driver open the rear hatch without a key. Now, let's see how the various controls work. All Starion models come with a tilt steering column. There's a button under the steering wheel. Simply pull it out, adjust the steering wheel to the position you prefer, then push it back in. Next, the headlight controls are located around the perimeter of the instrument cluster. On the left-hand side, from top to bottom, you have the headlight switch, parking light switch, and the headlight parking light off switch. On the right hand side, from top to bottom, you have the headlight pop-up switch, which is real handy when you want to wash the headlight lenses, the fog light switch, and the hazard warning flasher switch. Starion also features two stalks, one on each side of the steering column. Moving the left-hand stalk up or down controls the turn signals. And this stalk also controls the high beams. For example, pull the lever lightly toward you to flash the high beams. Or pull the lever toward you until it clicks to engage the high beams. Then another click toward you switches off the high beams. The right-hand stalk controls the windshield wipers and cruise control. All Starion models feature speed-sensitive variable intermittent wipers, which will automatically select the time between sweeps as the vehicle speed increases, or it also allows you to select the delay time. The right-hand control stock has four windshield wiper positions, off, intermittent action, normal speed, or fast. In a steady rain, most drivers will prefer normal action. Heavier rain may require fast. Both of these settings work at a continuous, steady pace. 
But in a light mist, the intermittent setting offers the driver the most choices. Merely clicking the stock down to the first position places the wipers in the intermittent mode. So when you're traveling at speeds under 12 miles per hour, they will operate at a set interval of approximately seven seconds. As the speed increases above 12 miles per hour, the time between wipes gradually decreases until approximately 30 miles per hour. Then wiper speed is continuous. While in the intermittent setting, you can manually adjust the time between sweeps. This is done by using the controls in the center of the stock. If you wish to have a set wiper interval speed, regardless of vehicle speed, merely press the cancel button, which is located on the left-hand side of the instrument panel. The wipers will now operate at a set interval of approximately seven seconds. This interval can be adjusted to anywhere from two seconds to 15 seconds by pressing the interval adjustment buttons. Each time you press either the slow or fast button, an accept tone will sound. For each push, approximately one second will be added or subtracted from the delay time. Then, to return to driving speed-sensitive operation, just press the cancel button once again. And, as previously mentioned, Starion also provides low speed and high speed settings, so you can select the right wiper speed to match the weather. And when your windshield is dirty, pulling the right hand stalk toward you will activate the windshield washers. Starion also comes standard with cruise control, and it's really quite easy to operate. The controls are also located on the right hand stalk. Right. Now, to switch it on, just rotate the knob to the on position, and an orange LED will light up. Then, when you're up to a speed over 40 miles per hour, simply press the set button on the end of the stalk. Your Starion will now maintain that speed. But what if I have to slow down? One way to deactivate the system is to lightly tap the brakes or depress the clutch pedal. That's all. Then, to resume your previous speed, Rotate the knob to the resume setting and your Starion will accelerate back to that speed. This resume control can also be used to accelerate the vehicle. Again, merely rotate and hold the knob until you reach your desired speed. If you wish to slow down, you can do so by merely pushing and holding the set button on the end of the stalk until you slow to your desired speed. To completely deactivate the system, Rotate the knob back to the off position. Moving back to the left-hand side of the steering wheel and behind it, you'll find the instrument panel light dimmer control. This knob allows you to easily adjust the brightness of the instruments. Starion also comes with an intermittent rear window wiper washer. This is controlled by a rocker switch located on the right-hand side of the instrument panel. If the rear window is dirty, before wiping you should wash first. To do so, press the bottom half of the switch. This activates the washer. Then, to turn on the wiper, you press the top half of the switch. And the interval of the rear wiper is determined by the interval set for the front windshield wipers. Now, if you've been operating the rear wiper and feel it needs additional washing, simply push the top half of the rocker switch all the way in. The defogger switch is located on the left-hand side of the instrument panel. It controls both the rear window defogger and the side mirror defoggers. When turned on, the light will be illuminated, and after approximately 20 minutes, the defoggers will switch off automatically. There are other thoughtful touches on Starion. Power windows come standard, and the master control located on the driver's door allows you to control both windows. There's even a lock switch on the driver's controls to lock out the passenger window control. Starion also comes with advanced electronics like ETAX 4. ETAX stands for Electronic Time and Alarm Control System. And on your new Starion, ETAX 4 provides you with a wide range of controls. For example, no scrape washer wiper action that sprays fluid on the windshield before it starts the wipers. And thanks to ETAX 4, the power windows will continue to operate for 30 seconds after the ignition has been switched off and before a door is opened. Starion's ETAX 4 system also features a fade-out interior courtesy light. It warns if the key is in the ignition. And includes an ignition key lock light. 
Every Starion features power door locks, too. They're especially easy to operate. When one of the front doors is locked, the other door locks automatically. To unlock, merely unlock either front door, and they both unlock. Another ETAX 4 feature, Starion comes with a power door interlock feature. That means if the key is in the ignition and the engine is off, the power door locks will not lock the doors. This helps reduce the chance of locking the keys in the car. For improved rear and side vision, Starion comes with power remote control outside mirrors. To adjust, simply set the center control switch to the right or left, then press the desired direction button. There's even a day-night rear-view mirror that's especially convenient for reducing the glare from the headlights of the cars behind you. And Starion also provides easy access under the hood by pulling the handle located on the left-hand side just under the instrument panel. Let's switch our attention to the automatic air conditioning, heating, and ventilation system. Basically, there are three modes of operation, manual, auto, and forced ventilation, with the settings controlled by the mode selection buttons on the right-hand side of the air conditioning control panel. In the auto mode, temperature control and outlet selection is completely handled automatically by the system. To engage the auto mode, simply press the auto button. Then set the temperature by pushing either the up or down buttons on the control panel. Either the heater or the air conditioner will function to maintain that temperature. It's that easy. There is also an auto flow through vent setting. In this setting, the compressor is off and fan speed is on auto, as is the outlet selection. This mode can be selected when you wish to vent the interior without heating or cooling the air. This mode is selected by pushing the auto button once, then pressing the economy button twice. Starion's air conditioning system offers a wide variety of choices in the non-automatic mode. For example, you can select the airflow pattern. Air flows from the center and side outlets. To change airflow modes, all you do is push another mode selector button located on the right-hand side of the unit. This will automatically cancel the previous setting. There's also a control that lets you select the blower speed. In the automatic mode, the vehicle selects the blower speed. But for personal preference, you can select high or low blower settings by pushing the appropriate button, indicated by the fan blade pictograms. There's also a blower off switch that completely deactivates the air conditioning system. The last control is the economy switch. The compressor will operate only when necessary to maintain the temperature set by the temperature control button. The economy setting helps reduce fuel consumption for more economical operation. This system also features an air selection button that lets you choose between fresh air or recirculated air. But please note, it is not recommended to drive with the switch in the recirculated air position for longer than 15 minutes. Now let's move to the exterior of your new Starion. These eye-catching cars come with a wide array of features, like bold aggressive lines and pop-up halogen headlamps. Both Starion models even come with lightweight alloy wheels with high-performance radial tires. Your Starion may also be equipped with the optional sunroof. It's extremely easy to operate. The knob over your head and in the middle opens and closes the sunroof. But I like that open-air feeling. Starion's got you covered. The glass panel can easily be removed, but we recommend that you refer to your owner's manual for complete instructions. New for 1987, all Starions come standard with an anti-theft device. Mitsubishi designed it so it's extremely easy to use. Right. For example, to arm the system, just lock the driver's door. Then, if someone tries to tamper with the doors, hood, or hatch, the horn sounds, headlamps flash, and the starter mechanism is interrupted. To disarm the system, simply put the key in either door or the hatch key release and turn clockwise. It's that easy and that effective. If you have a flat, you'll find your compact spare tire, jack, and wheel wrench stowed in the rear hatch area. Again, we recommend that you refer to your owner's manual for complete instructions for changing a tire. 
Staryon LE is powered by an impressive 2.6 liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine, while the ESI-R comes with a turbocharged and intercooled engine for even more power. A five-speed manual overdrive transmission is standard, and a four-speed automatic overdrive transmission is available as an option on the LE. To keep your Staryon in top running condition, we recommend that you read your owner's manual section that refers to maintenance. Now we'd like to help you locate some of the more popular checkpoints under the hood. With the hood open, the engine oil dipstick is found on the driver's side of the engine. We recommend you check the oil level on a regular basis. On Staryon models equipped with the optional automatic transmission, the fluid level dipstick is located at the rear of the engine compartment on the passenger's side. The container on the near side of the engine compartment, on the driver's side, is the windshield washer fluid reservoir. This should be checked periodically to ensure it has ample fluid. When freezing weather is predicted, flush out the water by operating the pump. Then refill the reservoir with windshield antifreeze. And the rear window washer reservoir is located in the luggage compartment, on the passenger side. On the passenger side of the engine, you'll find the coolant reserve tank. Be sure to periodically check that the coolant is at the proper levels and add fluid when necessary. For a clear picture of these locations and for all the other periodic maintenance items, please refer to your owner's manual. You'll find that this manual has a detailed listing of the maintenance schedule for your new Starion 2. We recommend that you follow this schedule to get the most out of your new Starion. Remember, preventive maintenance is the best maintenance. Now a quick word about your warranty. All Mitsubishi vehicles are covered by a limited warranty for a period of 12 months or 12,000 miles, whichever occurs first. If you have any problems, visit your Mitsubishi Motors dealer or an authorized service center. Mitsubishi also provides a two-year, 24,000-mile powertrain limited warranty, a three-year, 36,000-mile limited electronics warranty, and a five-year, 50,000-mile anti-corrosion perforation limited warranty. Please refer to the warranty disclosure sheet that came with your new Starion for all the details on the coverage. And remember, even though your new Starion is under warranty, routine maintenance is still your responsibility. Failure to maintain your new Starion may void the warranty. Here are other ways you can void the warranty. Any Starion in which the odometer reading has been changed so that the mileage cannot be readily determined. Damage due to accidents, misuse, or alterations. Repairs required as a result of fire, accident, abuse, or negligence. Damage by the environment, such as tree sap or road salts. These are only a few of the exclusions. Please refer to your warranty disclosure sheet for complete details on what is not covered. The 1987 Mitsubishi Starion. Few other cars in this class can match Starion's unique blend of technology and luxury. Mitsubishi, perfecting the experience. Now, if you would, please press your fast forward button. When this side of the tape comes to the end, your cassette player will automatically reverse and start playing the second side. On side two, we will outline the audio system that comes in your new Mitsubishi.